the morning sync way. Actually, it's not the morning. It's like 3 in the afternoon, but that's okay. Uh, I really liked your video on Friday. I think it's pretty cool that, you know, you ended up going to the camp and thinking that you weren't going to like it much, and then you got something out of it. <laughs> Yay! I also think it's pretty funny that there were like 20 of you there, and there were only two girls. You and your sister. <laughs> Also, I'm super jealous of your jump cuts, because I've been trying to do them, and then you just do them in the one video, and they're, like, perfect, and I don't get it. So you know that I got a haircut yesterday, and now it's even shorter than it was before. So I've had these sort of, like, these two questions going on in my head, which are both related to short hair. One of them is, A, are you a lesbian? And the other one is, are you trying to be a guy? Are you trying to be masculine? But the thing is, I'm not really trying to be either. I just like having short hair. So what I think this question boils down to is having short hair, does that make you less feminine? I'm putting on mascara. Okay, so to all those YouTubers who um, do makeup videos like all the time, I give you props because, especially like the ones that are looking into the camera while they're doing it, because that's hard. Like I just tried to do it and I managed to get mascara from my eye lash onto my eyelid. By the way, if you're wondering, this is not a makeup tutorial. You probably don't want to put makeup on the way that I put makeup on. Because it's a little bit weird sometimes. There be some lipstick. Oh, my camera doesn't zoom very well. Just to note, I don't have a lipstick brush. So, this is a brush for lip gloss. Ah. You're probably not supposed to do that with your lips, but I don't care. Again, not a makeup tutorial. So there be my face, Cinque. That is step one. Clothing and jewelry. So I think I've significantly proven that you can have short hair and still look feminine and, you know, wear makeup and jewelry and nice clothes and skirts. And stuff. Now for me, dressing up pretty and putting on jewelry and putting on makeup is really just sort of annoying and I don't like doing it very much. So that's why I don't do it. That does not mean that other people won't do it just because they have short hair. Also, I didn't get my hair cut short because I wanted to be masculine or I wanted to be a lesbian. I got it cut short because I felt like my hair was sort of a security blanket that I kept hiding behind, and I didn't like it very much. And we only have senior year left, and then we're going off to college, so I decided that I wanted to do something that was different uh, with my life and with my hair and with my appearance, and that's why I got it cut short. So having short hair isn't about being masculine for me. Having short hair is just being who I am, and I think that's fine. And if you have short hair, I know you do, Cinque. Uh, you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with your values. It has to do with what you feel good in. So now I have to go edit and clean up my room because there's makeup and bobby pins <laughs> and clothing all over the place. Cinque, I'll see you on Friday. So there are a lot of reasons why I have my usual setup uh, over there, but this would be one of them. I don't have an actual tripod, and my camera doesn't have a flip thing. So those are all the Motoral Instrument series books. And then also a Latin dictionary, if you're wondering. Oh, that's my book recommendation for the day. You have to read the Motoral Instrument series. 